This is a salvation for those of you that desire to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Job chapter 5 verses 8 through 9 says, But if I were you, I will appeal to God and will lay my cause before him. He performs wonders that cannot be fandom, miracles that cannot be counted. So this is a, a very beautiful scripture uh, saying, but if I were you, I will appeal to God. So this is a time, this is a season that we want to appeal to God. We want to surrender our hearts unto the Lord and invite Jesus Christ into our lives if we don't know him as Lord and Savior. Seek the Lord. This is Isaiah chapter 55 verse 6 says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Because tomorrow, the next moment is not promised to us. We want to seek the Lord while he may be found. This is the time, this is the season to really invite Christ into your life. The New Living Translation says, Seek the Lord while you can find him. Call on him now while he is near. So in this season of turmoil, of COVID-19. This is a time for those of you who do not know Christ to really turn your life over to the Lord and start a new beginning with the Lord. God is saying, draw near to me and I will draw near to you. And he is saying, come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. There is no reason that we should hold back from surrendering our lives unto the Lord. There is nothing that you have done in your life that uh, you cannot, uh, that will prevent you from inviting Jesus Christ into your life. This is the time to turn it over to him. Now is the time to run to God and not stand any distance. So I plead with you today, accept Jesus Christ into your life. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. So this is not the time to say, I'll do it later because tomorrow is not promised to you. Look at the thousands of people that have already entered into eternity. And, and the question is, where did they go for all eternity? Will it be heaven or will it be hell? So this is a day of decision. While you have breath and the ability to cry out to God, this is the time to surrender your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 10, 9 says, Because if you acknowledge and confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord, and in your heart believe that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart a person believes, and so is justified, declared righteous, acceptable to God, and with the mouth he confesses and confirms his salvation. So will you repeat this salvation prayer with me? Father God, it is written in your word that if I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead, I shall be saved. Therefore, Father, I confess that I am a sinner and I ask you to forgive me of my sins and I invite Jesus Christ into my life, into my heart. Create in me a clean heart and a right spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit that I may live empowered a holy and righteous life. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen.